that an, the only way that this agreement could have happened is from an outsider. All of the insiders in Washington said, you're not talking about recognition. You're not talking about this symbolic word. And what we tried to do is ignore that. And from an outsider perspective, go in and dig deep. I, I ask you to look at this agreement and see all of the details that have been hard fought negotiated that will move both economies and the entire region forward. This is economic normalization. It's a first step. I think the Europeans are going to be very happy. We've been on the phone a couple of times with the national security advisor in Germany, the national security advisor in France to, be, to brief them. We briefed them on the strategy. And we are briefing them again today on the details of, of this agreement. This is something that I feel very strongly about. It will make Americans safer. It'll make American companies more prosperous. This is a region that's been largely shut out because of a perceived conflict. Whether or not there's been a conflict, there has been a perceived conflict. European businesses and American businesses largely have refused to go in and grow in, the, in these areas. Now we will be able to open this up, whether it's in energy, water, construction of roads, railways, mines. These are all industries that are going to be opened up to European and hopefully American businesses to go in and help the people create an industry which means creating jobs in the, in the region, but also U.S. jobs, jobs for Americans and American companies.